guys after okay we came here at what time was it we came here at we came here at 10 imagine at 10 a.m and it is now what time let me show you it is now <laughs> let, me, let me confirm the time because i don't want anyone to say that i lied eh? it is now 306 came here at 10 a.m it is now 306 i don't know if you can see on my phone it is now 306 p.m so we have been queuing from 10 a.m up to probably three okay not three let's say up to around 245 and then uh, the serving process we've been served for like welcome back welcome back to pick on a dime with sha remember the supper or was it dinner that we had last night <laughs> that is what we are hitting up for breakfast so yes guys first morning in canada our breakfast is left over kfc from last night yeah because that is where we are at <laughs> come let's enjoy good morning people and now guys this is Canadian money. This is Canadian money. Wow. Just look at it. I mean, okay. First of all, I, I don't know if you had the same question I was asking before. I didn't expect it to have uh, Queen Elizabeth's face on it. R.I.P. But yeah, it did. Uh, for obvious reasons. I will not explain that. But this is the $20. That's the $50. This is the $100. Yeah, they look pretty. They are so colorful, right? Yeah, they look so colorful. I really like them. And they also feel funny. Also, they are much bigger. They are way bigger than uh, Kenyan shillings. But they are really beautiful. I like that. And the colors are kind of almost similar to our colors. So that's not so bad. Yeah. look at the texture guys look like it doesn't tear it's plastic i mean it's plastic it's funny <laughs> hi guys hi welcome to pick one and i'm with sha this new series i haven't given it a name yet but it's a new series so today is day one today is day one after landing we landed last evening yesterday yesterday evening and today we are going to do all our due diligence all the documents we need all the one two three we need and i wanted to bring you guys along with me uh, i am excited i am scared i am all over the place but it is a new experience and i am dressed for it i don't know if you can see my outfit <laughs> What do you think? Am I overdressed? What do you think? Am I overdressed? Am I underdressed for a new country? Am I for today's errands? <laughs> so today we are going to take to get our SIN, our social insurance number. That is more or less like the ID number in in Kenya. The ID number, like not even the ID itself, because the ID card will come back. It is the idea that they were supposed to put behind the Huduma number that never happened, but that is more or less it. I'll tell you more about it. So right now we are heading out. We don't have an appointment yet, but we're hoping it works out. We are also going to try, we are also going to try get our health card, the Ontario health, health card. card. We're going to try get the Ontario health card. We're going to try also get our accounts because it has been a hassle, even trying to get an Uber trying to get something as simple as an uber without a bank account is hectic we are even wondering how we're going to get out of the house today but that is the idea of today so i'm going to bring you along i'm going to record as much as i can but this is officially day one in canada 
Welcome guys. If you haven't subscribed, please remember to subscribe. If you have, please hit the like button. Uh, thank you so much for coming back. Share. Tell everyone about it and please ask me questions so that I can know what to tell you guys. Comment, comment down here. Ask me questions. Let me know what you want to know because right now I'm just, you know, all over. I'll be giving you all the information. So please come with me. <laughs> So guys, the first place we came to was Service Canada. Yeah, like I told you, we came to Service Canada to get our SIN, that is the social insurance number. So after queuing for a very short time, and like what I had been told, I got served. We actually got it, got the process done in a very short time. I was really impressed, considering I'd had a lot about the long queues. But as long as you follow the instructions, it went really smooth, really good. I was so grateful. Guys, guys, guys! Update, 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 update. It is done! Got my scene, got my scene. I am so excited. Okay, first of all, the mirrors are something. <laughs> the mirrors are really something. But back to the point got my scene got my scene got my scene i am officially able to do things that citizens do or something okay i told you the scene is like the id number right so imagine the number of times they ask you for your id number in kenya and you imagine not having one like so many important things that you need to do and you need to have your id number so now i have mine and i get to do all those things Yay! <laughs> Ah, it's a win. We thank God. And we move on to the next. We conquer one and move on to the next one. So let's head to the bank and see if we can actually get an account and credit cards. Because we need to start moving around and making things happen, right? Right! Woohoo! <laughs> so here's a hack, guys, or here's a pro tip from my personal experience as usual. Always try to go to a service Canada that is not too crowded i know there's no possible way of finding this out but there's the logical way of you know finding out which one would be the most or least crowded so for instance we decided yes we live in in uh, toronto and it would be so much easier to go to downtown to get to the service canada to get the scene and everything the sin but it was a uh, way more prudent to go to scarborough because uh, it was evident that it would be less populated like it would have less people because you know downtown is like nairobi what do you expect so here's a pro tip always go to a place where you anticipate to have less people that way the queue will be shorter just like it was for us yeah thank me later <laughs> So, hello Scarbro, what's up? What do you have to offer? So, moving on to the next. So, guys, like I told you, we couldn't get an Uber and getting transport was a whole other thing. So, after getting our scene, the next thing we did was get our Presto cards. Our Presto cards, these are the cards you use for transport. Uh, they're like visa cards you just tap them in the bus and then you you know use the bus you see like it makes it so much easier we had we had to use a ttc receipt where you just pay and the driver gives you a receipt but it is so much better when you have a presto card so the next thing we did was go to a shopper's drug mart which was in this same mall in scarborough so we were like why not so we got into the shoppers drug mart the lady was really nice as you can see this is what she will do and give you your fully loaded presto card you get to decide how much you want to load onto it and whenever you run out you just you know add funds you can use an application on your phone or you can just go to the nearest convenience store or shoppers drug mart and they'll do it for you really really fast and really convenient too Come on guys, let's explore this part of Scarborough and see what it has.
and while walking around of course we were starving <laughs> we were starving and just beckoning and calling to us was the nearest mcdonald's <laughs> so of course we stopped for is it lunch is it brunch yeah we stopped to eat and energize because hey we were really tired yeah and really hungry <laughs> Maybe I was just hungry but damn this was so good it was so so good Look at me marveling look at me marveling at the fact that I have to press a button to ask for permission to cross the road at a zebra crossing Wow I don't know <laughs> Yes Yes, I was only one marveling at this, but yeah, that's how it works. So guys, one of the things we tried to do today was to open a bank account. And that part, other than the fact that the day was going so well, that part didn't quite work out. Because the first bank we walk into, okay, we had, of course, you research on the banks you want to open. Uh, or to open accounts with and uh, the first branch we walked into they told us you need to have an appointment yeah imagine you have to have like you have to book online you have to book an appointment or something before you go so yeah that has had to be crossed off the to-do list for the day and we had to go home and just book for an appointment so there's the tip guys when you're going to a bank to open an account it is always best that you book an appointment beforehand i just had to show you this guys imagine this you see this these two things over here walking away very fast before someone sees me but imagine these guys actually put stuff on the roadside to donate like that's their version of donating they just put stuff on the roadside and i think you technically pick what you need or want i've seen this a number of times now and it is wow it is just wow because all of these things are like really good they look like things you'd find in a shop or second hand items but they're just placed on the roadside for anyone who wants them to pick them up wow right so yes guys that was the end of day one that was the end of day one not everything got done but so grateful for everything that did get done so guys day two how are you feeling today optimistic i hope so so do you see this queue this really long queue over here this is at service ontario yeah service ontario you remember yesterday i mentioned we really needed to get the health card so you get your health card from your province that is why we're going to service ontario since i am in toronto right we are in toronto so this very long queue is to get a health card right health because it's offered by the province so here is another pro tip guys you remember how i told you you have to book an appointment to get uh, in touch with a bank or to get serviced at a bank the same thing with service ontario if you can or if you you are not in such a hurry just book an appointment because hey if you try to be macmende like we did you will end up standing there for four hours like we did we actually ended up queuing for like four and a half hours some of the people who are behind us gave us gave up and just left guys we are at a point where everyone is just like you know you know moving your legs because huh? Because, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hours later, I let the killing. And the people, the staff actually encourage you to give up and leave. 
and you go and book for an appointment imagine they tell you to go and book an appointment and come back so if you see people squatting if you see people who are who are uh, smart enough to carry their own small chairs it is because we have been queuing for over four hours to get our health cards yes the systems work but you need to follow instructions if you have been told to book an appointment just book an appointment <laughs> but you see because it was early we were still excited we didn't have much to do we didn't mind queuing for a whole five four five hours yeah so yes guys this is service on Tyra. this is where you get your health card what else do i need to tell you about this <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's about it. At this point, at this point, I felt like my legs had gone numb. And I felt like I had to literally remind them to keep walking, keep standing. Well, and finally, oh, finally, gloriously, finally, we got served. Hmm. Yeah, finally, it was our turn. Finally, we went in. And here's something. Here's another thing guys, one of the reasons this line is going to take so long is because anyone who comes with an appointment literally makes it to the front of the queue and goes in before all of you. So anyone who, who had already booked an appointment will be given priority over you who has been standing there for four hours. Yeah, yeah, I think now you understand the essence of actually booking an appointment. Okay, we came here at what time was it? We came here at we came here at ten. Imagine at ten a.m. and it is now what time? Let me show you. It is now. <laughs> let, me, let me confirm the time because I don't want anyone to say that I lied. Eh? It is now three o six. Came here at. 10 a.m. It is now 3 or 6. I don't know if you can see on my phone. It is now 3 or 6 p.m. So we have been queuing from 10 a.m. up to probably 3. Okay, not 3, let's say up to around 2.45. And then the serving process, we've been served for like, say, it took a maximum of, say, 5, 6 minutes. Imagine. So guys, here's a pointer, please get an appointment. <laughs> well, the advantage of us coming today is that before you get busy, considering it's still our first week, before you get busy, you have a lot of time to actually stand around for the, for the six hours, you know, or something. But if you're working, or, and especially because they don't open on weekends, I mean, it is a government office, so of course they don't open on weekends. Eh? So you will need a work day i'm a, a working yeah a weekday to come and stand here from morning till evening or till afternoon <laughs> you're not even guaranteed that you're going to be served because they open till only till five you know so if you can please get an appointment okay please yeah otherwise if you can't get an appointment come here early eat your breakfast have a heavy breakfast come and stand and be patient because <laughs> at least eh, at the end of the day you'll get your card on your first attempt and uh yeah yeah so that's service ontario guys uh we have yet another document health card so this is where you come and get your health card so in case you've been wondering why i've been queuing all day for all these hours at service ontario there it is service ontario it's because I wanted to get my health card. You have to get your health card so that I, I'm sure you guys have heard that uh, that the hospitals are, are free. Healthcare is free. The healthcare is free, the hospitals are free and all that. But for you to get the free service from the hospitals, you need a health card. So we needed to get a health card as soon as possible. And yay! Another step into being a part of this lovely country. <laughs> See you later, guys. So guys get you your health card yeah So, 
the drinks I'm still experimenting with. This is a um, this is a pineapple something smoothie. I'm still experimenting with the drinks, but I have already made up my mind that if I am going to gain weight, it's going to be because of this. See these things. These burgers and these fries. Even forget the burgers, the fries. <laughs> this fries. I think I've been eating them for almost almost every day since we got here. This whole week, I think I can count probably one day that I didn't have these things. So look at how bitch I am. And the one thing I had to have before going home was McDonald's fries. Oh my god. <laughs> just look at this. Look at this. I mean, just look at this. If I gain weight, this is the reason. If I gain weight, come and sue McDonald's. <laughs> and security in. Social insurance. Our security. Mm -hmm. Our social in. Our social insurance numbers. That is that is social insurance. No, our social ins. Hey, guys, guys, update so far. Okay, the lighting, the lighting though. Anywho, guys, guys, hi. Update so far. Got my seat. <laughs> Thank you.